Hello guys, ang ating next video is again about adjusting entries but this time uh, tungkol naman ito sa unearned income or also known as deferred revenue or another term used for this one is pre-collected income so but it's pre-collected income it refers to income received in advance before services are rendered so at the end of the accounting period this income is to be adjusted to reflect the income portion and the liability portion so we have two methods of recording this the income method and the liability method there is a video about this uh, accounting for income so hopefully napanood nyo rin yun para mas maunawaan nyo ito so let us have this example on December 1, 2019 Leia May Fergosa receives 10,000 commission in advance for the month of December only 7,000 has been in. So, si Leia May daw nakatanggap ng 10,000 as commission in advance pero 7,000 lang ang na-earn. So, analyze natin ito. May natanggap si Leia May na 10,000. So, sa 10,000 na yun, since 7,000 lang ang earned. So, merong tinatawag natin na earned portion sa ka-unearned portion. So, ano yung earned portion? Ang earned portion is 7,000 according to our problem, 7,000. So, pag sinabi natin earned portion, ibig sabihin, ito yung uh, commission income. Kasi nga, in accrual basis of accounting, we only recognize income when it is earned. So, once it is earned, consider na natin siya as income. Kaya, ibig sabihin nito, out of 10,000, dapat ang balance ng ating commission income is 7,000 kasi yun ang na-earn and there is an unearned portion ano yung unearned portion? the balance of 3,000 so since it is still unearned so nakatanggap ka na ng bayad pero hindi ka pa nakapag-render ng service, ang ibig sabihin nito meron kang liability so yung 3,000 is unearned commission income or considered natin as liability so from this analysis, sa susunod nating discussions ang dapat nating tandaan after nating mag-adjust Dapat si commission income ay may balance na, okay ito, 7,000. And si unearned commission income, dapat ang kanyang balance ay 3,000 pesos. Okay, let us have the first method, yung tinatawag na income method. So again, the problem is on December 1, 2019, Leia May Fragosa receives 10,000 commission in advance. For the month of December, only 7,000 has been earned. So, if we use income method, ano ang entry natin sa December 1? Okay, yan ang ating entry. Debit cash, 10,000. Credit commission income, 10,000. So, bakit tinawag siyang income method? Kasi nga, income method ang ginamit mo kapag ka-receive mo ng payment, okay, yung commission in advance, is na-credit ka ng commission income or income account. So, since the credit tayo ng income account, that is income method. So, t-account natin to. Post natin sa t-account. So, we have credit of 10,000. Kaya lang, ang tanong dito is that, kung hindi tayo gagawa ng ating adjusting entry, at the end of the month, ano ang balance ni commission income? Ang balance niya ay 10,000. E yun ba ang totoo? earn ba yung buong 10,000? O di ba nga, based sa ating analysis, yung 10,000 na yan, ay hindi earned lahat kasi nga only 7,000 has been earned. So, dapat ang balance ay 7,000 lang ni commission income. So, paano siya maging 7,000 from 10,000? So, syempre, bawasan natin siya ng 3,000. So, paano natin siya babawasan? Nakakredit siya si commission income na 10,000 para bawasan natin, magdi-debit tayo ng 3,000 pesos. So, saan galing yan? Dito sa ating adjusting entry. So, ang ating adjusting entry para makorrect natin ang balance ni commission income is debit commission income 3,000, credit and earned commission income 3,000. So, ayan, post natin sa t-accounts, makikita natin Nag-debit tayo. Ito, nag-debit tayo ng 3,000. 
and then ang credit natin is an earned commission income. So, check na natin. After natin gumawa ng adjusting entry, tama na ba ang ating balances ng commission income at an earned commission income based sa ating analysis? Tignan natin. Commission income daw should have 7,000. Okay? 7,000. Then, an earned commission income is 3,000. So, correct na siya. Okay. So, ganun mag-analyze. Ngayon, ang problema ng iba is that ayaw nila mag-analyze. Gusto nila is mag memorize. So, kung gusto mag-memorize, ito yung mga reminders. Again, sa left side natin, nandiyan yung entry upon receipt of the payment or the commission in advance and nandiyan din yung adjusting entry. So, ano lang yung reminder? First reminder is that the composition of our adjusting entry is income account and liability account. Ayan. Sa example natin, Ang ating commission income is the income account and the liability account is the unearned commission income. So, napansin nyo ba na yung composition, yung naka-debit at naka-credit na accounts ay either income or liability account lang siya. Yung dalawang yun, yun actually yung methods used in recording pre-collected income. Okay. Next na dapat tandaan is that the account that was credited upon receipt of cash noong December 1 is the account to be debited in the adjusting entry. Napansin mo ba ito? Ayan o, oh, noong December 1, nag-credit tayo ng commission income. Tapos, pagka December 31, nag-debit tayo. So, laging tatandaan na ang adjusting entry is kung anong credit mo, yun ang i-debit mo. Ito ay when it comes to pre-collected or unearned income. So, kung ano yung credit, yun yung iyong i-debit. Then, next problem mo lang is, ano naman ang amount? O, tatandaan, if ang amount, if ang method na ginamit mo is income method, then, you use the unearned portion. Eh, magkano ba ang unearned portion? Our unearned portion is, ah, uh, 3,000. So, you use 3,000. I hope nakatulong ito ang reminders na ito. Okay. Proceed tayo sa next method, yung tinatawag na liability method. So, yung liability method, paano ba siya? The same problem tayo. Anong entry natin ng December 1, 2019 if we used liability method? Debit cash, 10,000. Credit and earned commission income, 10,000. Itong unearned commission income is a liability account. So, kailan mo ginamit si liability method if you credited a liability account upon receipt of cash. So, post natin sa t-account. Meron tayong 10,000 on December 1. Okay? Kung hindi tayo magpe-prepare ng adjusting entry, ang lalabas sa ating trial balance is that meron tayong unearned commission income na 10 thousand. E, eh, totoo ba ito? Ha? Totoo ba yung 10,000 na yan? E, eh, di ba nga, based on our analysis, the magkano dapat? Our unearned commission income should be ayan. Dapat ay 3,000 pesos siya. Dapat 3,000 lang ang unearned. Kasi nga, yung 7,000 earned na. So, paano maging 3,000 ang 10,000? Siyempre, bawasan natin ng 7 Paano natin babawasan? Nakakredit si 10,000. Okay, nakakredit yan. Paano natin babawasan? Magdi-debit tayo. Ayan. Magdi-debit tayo ng unearned commission income. Yan actually yung ating adjusting entry. So, our adjusting entry is debit, unearned commission income, 7,000. Credit commission income, 7,000. Okay? Post natin sa t-account. Ayan siya. So, tingnan natin ang balances. Ano ba? Uh, Nag-match ba sa ating analysis? Okay. Unearned commission income should be 3,000. O, correct. Commission income should be 7,000. Correct then. Okay. I hope. Okay. So, Kung ayaw mong mag-analyze at gusto mo mag-memorize, ito ulit ang mga reminders. 
So, sa left side, makikita natin dyan yung ating problem. Ang entry natin noong December 1, 2019. Ayan. At ito yung ating adjusting entry. So, ano ba ang mga dapat tandaan? So, again, unang reminder, the composition of the adjusting entry is what? An income account and a liability account. So, actually, ito yung dalawang methods. So, lagi tatandaan, ang adjusting entry dito sa unearned income is ang isang account, income, ang isa liability. So, pwedeng nakadebit yung isa, nakakredit yung isa. So, dito sa ating example, ang ating income account is commission income at ang ating liability account is unearned commission income. Okay. Second reminder is that oh, kung ano ang credit, ayan. Kung anong credit mo, yun ang iyong i-debit sa adjusting entry. Kung anong credit, yun ang iyong i-debit. Okay? Maliwanag ba? Next. Ano next na problema? Yung amount. Okay, alam mo na yung accounts. Next na problema mo is ano ba ang amount? Okay. Kapag ang ginamit mo ay liability method, ang gagamitin mong portion is the earned portion. The earned portion. Ayan, the earned portion. Yan ang iyong gagamitin. So, I hope nakatulong ito para mas maintindihan. General reminders tayo sa whatever method, whether yan ay uh, income method or liability method, ang composition ng adjusting entry ay ang isa ay income account, ang isa ay liability account. Then, sumunod, kung ano yung account ang credit upon receipt of cash, yun yung account na iyong i-debit kapag gumawa ka ng adjusting entry. Ulitin ko, kung ano ang, yung, kung ano ang account na credit upon receipt of cash or nung pre-collected income, yun ang account na iyong i-debit kapag gumawa ka na ng adjusting entry. And then, paano ang amount? If income method, you use the unearned portion. If liability method, use the earned portion. Eh, minsan, ang iba, hindi maalala. Ano nga pag income? Ano nga pag liability? So, ito yung mga advice ko. Sa so, tandaan, kapag income method, okay, unearned portion, kapag liability method, I earned portion. So, ano ba ang nauna sa alphabet? Income or liability? Kapag in-arrange natin siya in alphabetical order. Income or liability? O, di ba? Ano una sa alphabet ay? Income. Di ba? Huli ang liability. Ito naman, unearned at saka earned. Sino ang nauna? Si earned. O, napansin nyo ba? Yung nauna, Nauna at saka nahuli. Nauna at nahuli. Nahuli at nauna. So, yung nauna sa alphabet ng method at nahuli sa earned at unearned. And then, yung isa is yung nahuli at nauna. Ayok na itindihan. Kung nakakalito man siya, pakibalik-balikan lang at pakianalyze ng konti. I hope nakatulong ito na mas maintindihan ninyo ang uh, adjusting entries para sa pre-collected income, deferred revenue, or unearned income. Thank you so much for watching. Again, kung hindi pa nakasubscribe, click subscribe and hit the notification bell for more uh, updates. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all.